When creating an animation, the first thing you need to do is choose your trigger element. So for example, let me go ahead and choose companies here. And then if you go to the animations tab, in this case, you see there are no triggers created. And we have different types of trigger. If I click the plus button, you can add triggers. You can have a trigger on click. So when someone clicks the specific element, when someone hovers over the specific element, when the element scrolls into view of the of the viewport, this is the viewport and it changes depending on the size of you, the screen of the person that is viewing your web project. Then we have while scrolling. So the animation triggers once someone is scrolling on your page or when the page is loaded. Now we do not see any animations like I said, you can add them using this plus button, but this is a template and it already has some animations. So if I choose this heading one, you can see that it has an animation on load. Then this paragraph also has an animation on load. This one also has the same animation on load. The trigger is on load. Now the animation can be totally different of course. In this case, if I choose, if I click load, you see that the animation happens on this button div and what happens is it moves and the opacity changes. Now, the very important thing in Y code is that once you go into the trigger and start adding animations here, you're kind of locked into the screen of this specific element. Okay, so we're working on the load trigger of this specific element. If I click something else, I'm not going to change to the animation of that new element I clicked. So I'm not in the animations tab of this element. I'm still in the trigger tab for this button. And you can see it because the color of this button changes of this icon here of this. And you can see that we have a little dotted line. That means that we're working on this trigger right now. So if we click back here, you see that the button, the color is bluer again, and we have a solid line around this. And we see that the button is highlighted here too because we're working on this animation. Now let's go into a button element here, which is in this buttons div, and you can create a new animation on here. And again, to do so, you have to get out of the trigger for this div here because we're still here and you, we know we're here, we, we know we're at a different trigger, in a different trigger because it's not blue again, it's not blue. So let's get out of here. Let's see the triggers that this specific button element has. It has a hover trigger. And if we go into the hover trigger, we see that we have something that changes here. The opacity of the companies here changes and the arrow changes right here, this arrow the arrow rotates and the opacity of the companies change. Now the reason it locks into place is that we can do different things with other elements, not only with the element that we set the trigger for. So for example, this is the trigger element, but a totally different element changes. So this companies element changes and this little element within the button also changes, but we can add something else. So for example, if we choose heading one and we click the plus button here, and let's go with opacity again. And we have the opacity, let's go from 100 to zero. Then we're working on this heading one, we're creating an animation for it, but we're still, we still have the trigger here, the button, the hover over the button is still the trigger. So I guess that's the most thing, that, that's the thing that can be the most confusing, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Let's go back hit save and let's do preview just so I show you on page load we had the elements that move up and the opacity changes right then we had on hover the button uh, these uh, these will disappear and this heading will disappear of course we probably don't want to have that happen on our website but I just wanted to show you what we're built what we're doing here and so this opacity and this is going to change and the arrow is going to rotate right on hover okay so that happens and then if we scroll down, this template has other animations, scroll into view, something will happen once we scroll to a certain part of the page. There we go, the phone showed up and the text showed up. Then another element will show up if we keep on scrolling. And this is just a short overview of the, th the, of the different things you can do with the animations here. Again, animations, I'm gonna click paragraph, and on load, 
You can have different things that happen to this paragraph, and also you can have the move effect, which you saw, the scale effect, which is like a zoom in and zoom out, a rotate effect, which you already saw, a skew effect, the opacity, and the filters. You can change things like blur, bright, brightness, grayscale, etc. I have other videos where I go deeper into each one of these animations, but for now, like I said, just a quick overview. Have a wonderful day, and I will see you in the next video.